Disney The Jungle Book, It Takes Two. One day in the jungle, Bagheera and Baloo were discussing how to keep Molly safe. I can protect us, said Baloo. Oh, Baloo, said Bagheera. Molly sighed. He didn't need protecting. Why? With his strength, he could fight like a bear. And with his brains, he could plan like a panther. If only they gave him a chance. Just then Molly saw something. There was a rustling sound above his head, somewhere in the trees. Mowgli looked his way, and that's trying to catch sight of what it was making the noise. Mowgli giggled as a flying squirrel glided above him and landed on a branch. I want to try that, Mowgli shouted. He climbed the tree and grabbed a vine. But try as he might, Mowgli kept on crashing into the ground again and again. All the while, a slithery someone was quietly watching both Mowgli and the squirrel. Finally, Mowgli got the hang of swinging on the vines. It felt like flying. He and the squirrel swept over the heads of Bagheera and Baloo. Mowgli was having the time of his life, but when they reached the river, his stomach started grumbling. There are some bananas. Let's race, he cried. But Mowgli and his new friend didn't know how to cross the river. Mowgli looked at the vine and he was holding and he had an idea. Let's swing, said Mowgli, on the count of three. One, two, three, finished Mowgli. Eep, squeaked the squirrel as the pair of them soared across the river. Now, Car the Snake, who had been watching the pair all this time, happened to be a very good swimmer. Seeing what Mowgli and the squirrel were going to do, Car waited for his prey at the other side of the river. Oh, there is the man cub swinging to me, hissed Car hungrily. Car watched as Mowgli and the squirrel fell right into the water. Car's eyes grew wide. Now trust in me the snake said just slide into my coils Mowgli and the squirrel grabbed onto Ka who pulled them up in the tree with him oh look a squirrel Ka hissed the squirrel's eyes focused only on Ka using his brain Mowgli realized that if he didn't look into Ka's eyes then his snake could not make him go to sleep and with his strength, Mowgli wrapped Ka's tail around the stone and dropped it. The snake fell from the tree. Some thanks I get, Ka murmured. Bagheera and Baloo stood across the river, shouting at Mowgli. Mowgli, cried Bagheera. Little birches, cried Baloo. I'm over here, Mowgli called. I use my brains and my strength to save what we can't hear you said baloo mowgli turned to see his squirrel friend let's meet them again mowgli said to the squirrel maybe next time i'll try gliding without the vine but perhaps that isn't such a good idea the squirrel flew away high above the ground and mowgli made his way down river past the waterfalls bagheera and baloo followed him on the other side When it was finally safe to cross, Mowgli swung and swam to his friends. That night, as Mowgli drifted off to sleep, he heard his friends still angering. He didn't look in Ka's eyes, said Bagheera. He used a big rock to get rid of that sinister snake, added Baloo proudly. Mowgli smiled. He had used his brains and his strength to save himself and rescue his new squirrel friend.